Have you heard of hospice? No. Basically, the big thing is that two doctors have to certify that your expected lifespan is six months or less. Oh. Hi, it's so nice to see you. It's been like more than a year, I think. I have a genetic condition called mitochondrial disease, which has shut down my organs. Did you know anything about who you're going to be meeting beforehand? No. You guys sprung one on her. <laughs> How have you been doing, Julia? I've been doing okay. How have you been doing? I've been doing good. I Well, I've been playing Animal Crossing. That's good. <laughs> so what has changed since we last talked to each other? I guess a lot. Uh, my condition has progressed faster, and so I'm now on something called home hospice. Have you heard of hospice? No. What do you think it means? I feel like it means you're on a different medication or something. Okay, interesting. What I understand hospice to be is you know there's nothing you can do, and at that point you're kind of doing more harm than good. That is, at least for me, exactly what hospice is. My body has deteriorated enough that now we are doing end-of-life care. Hospice is basically where you don't do any more surgeries. There's no cure. It's all about symptom relief, feeling better, and quality of life being at home. Oh, so you that's how you're going to be for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of sad, but I think that's what they did with my dad when he was in the hospital. You just stay there and you don't take like the medications until you pass way comfortably is that hospice or what would it could be, be? hospice can be in hospitals but uh, basically the big thing is that two doctors have to certify that your expected lifespan is six months or less so how did it feel to hear like that the six months from your two doctors it's really tough and the toughest part is my condition is so up and down. I was septic in April and um, my body could have just decided to give in, to have given up that week and I could have died that week and that was not far-fetched and I went to the hospital and you know what they told me is you really need to be in the hospital but in the midst of this pandemic your parents can't stay with you it's too dangerous. I think stay at the hospital alone would be like very creepy. If you were put in that situation, do you know what you would pick? It would be very hard to not be with our parents and and it and it, it would it would feel bad for me cuz I I I'm like a mommy's girl so I really stay close to her. I'm trying not to cry cuz I cuz I have makeup on. <laughs> It's all right. It's very scary. What's the hardest or saddest thing about, like, that you're facing right now? And what are some things you do to overcome that? I think the hardest thing is knowing that my body is deteriorating and feeling like my mind doesn't um, agree. Jules, are you afraid of death? Well, I'm not really scared of death i'm scared of the way i die like if i were to get hit by a car then i would be scared you know but if i were to like just die in my sleep then that would just be it if i could guarantee that i would pass peacefully in my sleep i would have so much of a weight lifted off of me but death it is so unknown my best friend um, who also had mitochondrial disease. We just were sisters and we loved each other incredibly. So she died in September of last year. She didn't get the death that she wanted. So oh, I'm going to get teary. Um, for me, it's all about making sure that I just listen to my body and, and that I let things be as they are. I know you 
Um, last time you talked about all the things that were on your bucket list. I got a lot on my bucket list. Let me pull it out. <laughs> Meet Ellen. Duh. Spend time with horses. Watch a live birth. I love babies and if I were to get cured like tomorrow, I'd probably want to be like a midwife or something. What are some things that you've completed on it? Ellen still has not reached out, so that's bizarre. <laughs> but um, I since have seen a birth. I've gone horseback riding. Hey, Mom, can I show her the picture of her riding the horse real quick, please? I was thinking of you since we are going to have the Zoom, so I drew a picture of you riding a horse. That's so good. You know what? My mom is here, and I'm going to have her grab a picture. So after I saw you, I actually got to ride a horse. Can you see that? Wow, cool. On my bucket list was to see a birth. So I am um, a close family friend gave birth and I got to be there. My view on death changed a little bit after I saw this baby be born. It's nice to think about as somebody's life goes, immediately somebody's life enters and they get the whole new world that I may have lost, you know? It was so great to see you, Jules. Yeah, I'm I'm really grateful to see you again. I really enjoyed the time that we spent today. Bye, Julia. I hope to see you better next time, too. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Julia, it was such a treat for me to get to join in from halfway across the world and chat with you and all the kids again, and I'm so happy that we got to see each other. How are you feeling? I am feeling exhausted, but really good. That was that was a good one. 